Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today we are introducing the latest browser that is the Vivaldi. Basically only the technical preview have came right now. So basically in this video I am going to show you the first look of the Vivaldi. Also briefly I will explain it. Ok guys first of all this browser is been made by the Opera's former CEO John von Dessner. So basically now I'm going to just show you the official site that is the vivaldi.com slash home. I will link this URL in the description so don't worry about that. First of all in this site we got the Vivaldi with bold letters and in the next to it we got a new browser for our friends. So basically the CEO is uh, delegating this browser to all of us that means to say. Alright we got the download tag preview that means the technical preview of this browser they have given to us to test it basically the final version is coming later on they haven't said yet okay so this its download size is about 36 MB you can download and you can check it by your own then also I will be showing you as I said I will be showing you the looks okay so basically the scroll down we got our story so let's see what they have wrote over here so in 1994 two programmers started working on a web browser our ideas for us to make a really fast browser capable of running on limited hardware keeping in mind that users are individuals with their own requirements and wishes opera was born our little piece of software game traction our group grew and a community was created we stayed close our users and to our roots we kept improving our software based on our users feedback as well as our own ideas on how to make great browser we innovated and we strove for excellence fast forward to 2015 the browser we once loved has changed its direction Sadly, it's no longer serving its community of users and contributors who helped build this browser in the first place. So we came to natural conclusion, we must make a new browser, a browser for ourselves and a browser for our friends. A browser that is fast, but also browser that is rich of in functionality, high flexible and put the users first, a browser that is made for you. That's very nice to see that they have thought of the whole people that is the public to give them a very functionalized browser with more features and all that stuff. Okay, let's just scroll down so we can see what can you expect. That means what we can expect in this browser. What you get now is our first technical preview. So that was above I have showed you. It's a build intended to show the direction of our product. It's not perfect, far from it. Some of the key features were integrated are yet to be implanted. So optimization need to be done, but we hope that you get a glimpse of our product and what you can expect from us. So that is only the glimpse we can see that the game have given to the testers. The final version is right on its way, as I said before. Alright guys, let's just scroll down. So that is the feedback you can see. Give us the feedback we like to hear from you. The best way to make this product better is to get involved. We can have an active forum where you can just give us feedback and discuss directly with us as well as with other passionate users. Okay, you can just check it out the forum over here. That is it over here you can see. So this is the forum. You can just you have to make your account, then you can just discuss about the browser also feedback launch debates and discussions you can also talk it with your own language too they have not said that you, you should just discuss on your english so you can see there are many kind of languages it's included over here all right so you can check it out i will link this forum in the description i'm going to say with the url okay let's go back so first of all we can see we got quick commands let's go there so are you a keyboard person then you are in luck quick commands allow you to quick search through various settings history open tabs bookmarks and more with a single keyboard shortcut we aim to make the quick command menu highly 
customizable allowing you to make your own commands and run them quickly so that's very nice to see that they have introduced this thing quick commands so downwards we can see a picture called bookmarks panel and we can see some commands control p for toggle panel control d for download panel bookmarks panel is control b so that's kind of shortcut we can see by using this shortcuts we can just hit those pages very quickly all right so first of all we can see the notes to over here so in notes we can see take notes while browsing and add screenshots right in the handy note panel the notes will automatically remember while site which site you are using browsing at the time and allow you to add tags to easily organize and find them later okay so in that website which you are in you can just take a screenshot and you can save it and then you can find it later on by seeing that so that is very nice to see that this is kind of a new feature we are seeing so we got thirdly we got the speed dials okay so speed dials is basically tabs we can see different tabs so it's written all of your favorite sites easily accessible from one page you can also create multiple speed dial groups organize your site based on interests such as sports news tags or different content such as work school etc it is also possible to add a folder as a speed dial entry it is a pretty much powerful feature so this is basically like the bookmarks they are saying if you have used opera it is you can just see the speed dials over there it's basically the same we can see we got fourly we got tab stacks let's go there and see too many organized tabs can become a bit messy making it hard to find the tab you are looking for quickly organize your tabs using tab stacks it lets you group multiple tabs under a single tab just drag a tab over under another for grouping for easy grouping basically that is very nice to say that the, when we are in a single page we can just drag the under page in the same one so that is very nice you see this feature tab stacks okay let's go to the fifth one we got a web technology so build on web technology so that means like html5 javascripts and all that stuff so basically we can say vivaldi has a powerful feature chat but that is not all one of the things that makes vivaldi unique is that it built on modern web technologies we use javascript and react to create the user interface with the help of node.js that means node javascript browse fee and a long list of npm models Vivaldi is the web building with the web so that is very nice to see that they have included this thing and show to us that what they have included so in various sites these things are included like in youtube you can find html5 also in the javascript is basically on if you go to the pingtest.net over there it is asked for java this thing node module so you can see over there you can just test it out all right so basically they have um, I mean to say basically they have just shown this thing that what they have included in this browser so basically this is very nice to see that they are showing very in a brief way so that we can understand that what sites can be run properly over there or we can just need an extension or even external third-party softwares okay so lastly we got the we are working on so they are working on on this feature right now so that is the mail sync special special navigation performance extensions okay we want the extension already so yeah that's very useful thing they're going on doing that okay so in the 40 we got your suggestion so that is do you feel we are missing out an important feature tell us we can not promise to implant all but we will try our best that is very nice to see that still they want suggestion from the people so that we can provide also they can make the browser better and better okay so this is a team we can see made the team so it is described with the names 
and also the categories you can see so you can just read it out and see by yourself okay so lastly we got thank you and all this thing all right guys let's scroll down so we got drive value today so we got a download now here so as i said it's 36 megabyte you can just download it and try it yourself so we can see the version number of the browser that is the v.1083.38 technical preview so basically this is the version number of the browser as you know only you can just find this as similar to the other browsers versions all right so it runs on windows linux and mac all right so you can just use it on three of those right now also maybe it will be available for mobile devices and all that later on now only the technical preview is here so yeah we should try it on and we should wait for the final version to just get it out they haven't yet given the release date of the final version but let's see maybe later on we can find it out all right guys now let me show you the first look of the value browser so i have already downloaded and installed so let me just show you so as you can see this is the symbol of the browser in my taxpayer so let's just click on it all right we got it so basically this is the home page which i read the stuff from there all right let's just in the left hand side we can see menu just click on it we got the file new tab new window import data open save as print and exit so this is very nice and simple they have just listed then secondly we got edit that is undo redo cut copy paste select all find it paste so basically these are the normal things in the browser thirdly we got the view toggle menu position toggle panel toggle status bar bookmarks panel mail panel contacts panel download panel and its note panel so it's basically the things they have listed in the site it's over here so that is very nice to see that they haven't just lied to us and there is not that feature which they have included over there and it's not in the browser that is very nice that they have just told and they means to say what they have wrote to just shown we can see all right so fourthly we got the tools there's the settings and show quick commands so which are the commands like the control d which i have showed you right let me go to the settings first of all let's see what is over here so we got a general appearance then we got the navigation these are the shortcuts then fourthly we got the network you can just use proxies if you want over here from the proxy settings fifthly we got the privacy and sixthly we got the display all so this includes the home page url sick on startup and set as default browser so basically these things are same as the normal browsers like in you can find in chrome and in the even in internet explorer we can say all right let's go over here again so we got the windows that that means to say window toggle full screen after that we got the help that is the about and the community forum about is about the browser okay so we let's go to the window and toggle full screen so the full screen is looking very nice all right we can might be in the final final version we can just access the browser from here in the full version all right let's just press f11 and let's go back to the restore again all right so that was it guys basically the stuffs are pretty much same as the other i mean to say like the chrome browser or even you can say mozilla firefox or even internet explorer so then we got the this back button over here and we got the forward button also we got the rewind button and the fast forward so these two buttons basically use when you are in a browser and you want to go back to the previous space like quickly then you can just hit it over from here it will rewind and this will go forward then we got the reload button that will reload your page we got a home page button over here if you will click on it then what is your home page you have set it it will come over there all right then we got the bookmarks over here 
we got the mail contacts downloads and notes all right these are the normal things and with in the right hand side we got a trash over here let's click on it and let's see valley a new brother for our friends so all right so that means it is the clear history catch and all that cookies you can see okay guys so in the left hand side we got in the downwards we got the panel settings we got the show panel and in the right hand side we can see hide images also there is page actions also the reset of the this zoom i mean this of the page you can just if you want you can just zoom it upon yourself when in which you're comfortable with it all right then guys this is the scrolling and scroll out okay guys so that was the introduction and i briefly explain video also the first look i hope you guys like this video if you then give a thumbs up also let us know if you have any confusion or you want to ask something then you can let us know in the comments all right guys also share this video to your friends that helps a lot to the channel subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet this is the right time to do that also helps the channel a lot okay guys see you in the next time then peace out